One of the joints commonly used in cabinet making and woodworking construction is the mortise and tenon joint, as you can see here, the mortise hole being a square hole into which the tenon goes. Now the difficult bit is actually cutting the square section hole, and this is where SIP's bench mounted mortiser comes into its own, enabling us to do this. The working end is a hollow chisel, which comprises a hollow chisel, which is square in section, which goes into the hole to actually cut the sides. The waste being removed by an auger bit, which goes up the middle. Now this machine will take from a six millimeter, such as this bit, up to a 16 millimeter bit. And they're easily inserted into the machine through the bottom. And first of all, we slide that up until it's just shy of the actual collar. Tighten that up with the Allen key. We can then slide the bit up into the actual machine. And inside there's a Jacobs chuck which accepts the arbor. We can tighten that up. And then simply slide the chisel slightly higher just to give it fractionally more clearance. The other thing we need to do is make sure that this is square to the table. And the easiest way of doing that is by bringing it down and bringing the table forward, which is easily adjusted using the adjuster, and making sure that the chisel is square to the back of the fence. Once we're there, we can now position the fore and aft movement of the cast table using the adjuster on the front to position it to where we want to cut our mortise hole. The wood is held against the fence and in this case I'm just going to use a packing piece against the cramp. With that held in place what we can now do is position the machine over our mortise which is there. Now I've got the ejection chute at the front so you can actually see now whether you put that to the side or the back is personal preference. If we now bring this along I have just marked two lines and it's simply a case of bringing the lever down on its gas ram. We can set the depth of stop in advance and then we can bring this down and actually cut our mortise in a succession of passes by just moving the trunnion table back and forth. Be careful when removing the work that you don't have your hand between the wood and the chisel in case the weight of the wood actually camps, camps it up and catches because these are very sharp points on here. And when we remove that, we should then find that our piece of wood goes into our mortise hole. One other feature that you can do here, if we turn the chisel at 45 degrees, there's nothing to stop you using it as a decorative feature putting in single mortise holes and then filling them with a different coloured wood, in this case it's oak, oak with some ebony inserts, to give you a decorative feature. As an optional extra, you can buy the chisel sets from SIP. It does come with one chisel, but this machine will take from a 6mm bit here right through to a 16mm here, so it will actually handle some large capacities. That will enable you to do single or double mortising, such as this, and all that is is just a case of bringing the wood in and turning it round and doing the cuts from both sides. You can even do through mortises, through mortise holes by cutting from both sides of the work, again using the larger chisels. You can even mortise your tenons to give you a wedged tenon for disassembly at a later date. And it's all possible to be done with this bench mounted mortiser.